this is kind of like the same question I asked yesterday, but so we said that you know marijuana and other drugs are witchcraft. Is it also the Galatians three one? Be, you've begun in the spirit by faith, but now trying to finish in the soul and the flesh by works. Um, so it's like don't play don't play around with it. Like it's like something in the playground that we shouldn't play around with that because when we do it's now you're you were and you begun in the spirit but now you're trying to finish it in the flesh and i've thought of it like holy spirit is the most enlightening intoxicating pleasurable drug everything else is just a counterfeit so when we we get bewitched and we think we need some substance and instead of realizing we are that odd substance our pleasure and so, like, I don't know, what do you think about that? Because I find that if my mind starts to go in that direction, and even if I have marijuana or these other substances, I f quickly find myself then bewitched, needing the substance, needing it for the playground. So. Again, that's the mind pretending to be a spirit. It's, what you're talking about is, even the one that begins in spirit by faith is not realized who they are at all. You you do not begin in spirit by faith. You've never had to have faith to 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 exist to be. Faith faith is a playground tool. It's not a real one. You've never had to believe to be. And so um the the one who's thinking in these terms who is it? Who is the one that's thinking if I do this this is witchcraft or if I don't do this then I'm right and I'm, then, I'm, then I'm really engaged in something spiritual <coughs> who's the one thinking? who's the one engaged in that sort of thinking? I don't know I'm trying to think and I'm trying to not have such short-lived experiences of pleasure and presence. Mm -hmm. Yes, but you're still the one looking. You're still engaged as the mind that is looking for an experience. I'm calling you forth to who you really are beyond that so that you can realize that you are the experience that you are also having when somebody experiences joy they're not experiencing something outside of them they're actually experiencing themselves they are the experience that is being experienced there's not the one that is having the experience and the thing that they're experiencing this is not this is not real So when you find yourself, let's say you're, you're in the playground creating in that place, you find, but you find yourself with certain things in the playground that you like to go, you like to use daily, or stuff you are constantly want to use in your creation within the playground. Is that an unhealthy thing? Is that something that you should be like, well, I, I want to not be attached to anything in the playground. <clears throat> the the ego is um, always and when I say ego I'm not talking about <laughs> understand I'm not talking about your uh, the avatar I'm talking about the one that you've identified as okay it's always wanting to um, it's always looking at outside of itself so all that's happening when you ask this question is you're, you're using a different language to ask the same question you're looking for a yes or a no, a right or a wrong you're looking for me to say no you shouldn't do that 
or yes, you should do it because the ego is always wanting to be righteous. It wants to be right. It doesn't want to be wrong. I've never known one person that set out to be wrong. I know that there's freedom. There's no law. We can play on the playground. I know that. I mean, doing that for a while. I just find that when I, like, especially with mind-altering substances, I start to get attached to those things. I start to always want. Like, if I, if I who is the eye that's getting attached to mind-altering substances? Right. No, not right. Tell me, who is the eye that is? Yeah. But what is that exactly? Tell me, who is the eye that is finding itself attached to these mind-altering substances? But what is this ego that's being attached or becoming consumed with the need for these mind-altering substances? Go tell me exactly. I want you to identify what this ego is specifically. You've lived as it for a long time. You should be able to identify it. What is ego? It's who you're not. Okay. What else? What is ego? Who is the who? When you say, you answered, ego is who you are not. So I would say, who is that who? Old man. The flesh. Sin no, there's never been an old man. <clears throat> there's never been a sin nature. Those are those are religious, purely religious concepts. There's never been a sin nature. There's never been flesh. Not flesh like the, in the sense of sin nature. Flesh never existed. Okay, this is this is something that religious folks use. They look around, they think this world is real, and they use these words to get people to try to do things their way. Okay. No, no, that's not that's not ego. Who is the who that is not? I don't know. I get the point that it's not real. Okay, but but I want but yes, but I want you to ident I want you to be able to identify who it is. If you can't identify who it is, it'll always raise its head and you'll always acknowledge it. Same like Brant, the form, who I've identified myself as. Listen to what you just said. You're getting closer, but listen to what you just said. You said who I identify myself as. All the who I there's an I that is identifying itself as something else. I'm actually talking about the I, not the one, not the identity, but the I. Yeah. See, ego is so layered. It's the one that I, I identify myself as. No, there's, there's all these identities. There's a million different identities, and we go, oh, this is who I am not. Yeah, yeah I've discovered this is who I am not. And then the next day, it's a somebody new and different that they're not. <laughs> it's something entirely different. Oh, I discovered again that this is who I'm not. If you can discover that the, it's the I that's been identifying. Who is the I that's been identifying as all these things that is not? It's not Brandt. Brandt is just one of those things that you've identified as. So there is no I, is what you're saying? There absolutely is no I. So, if there is only Christ, and there is no I, who is the one that is asking the question? I find the need to ask the question because if I just live in total freedom... Who I, finds the need? If I was living in total... When I live in total freedom and I have plenty of money, I mean, I would be using marijuana 24-7. Who, like, who is the one that you said... I, when I find, I find the need to ask the question, right after saying there's no I. 
right after saying there is no I, yeah. you said, I find the need to ask the question. Who is the one that finds the need to ask the question? If you will hear, the moment, I know that sometimes this sounds confusing and it seems like I'm just going back and forth. No, no, no. The moment that you realize what's being said, things shift. It's why it's so important. The moment that is realized, not not information, but realization. Who is the I? The I the I is not real. The I does not exist. Never has. You understand this? There's never been an independent you. What what, what kind of foolish what kind of foolish silly silly really silly concept is independent? The word independent. We celebrate here in America Independence Day. Who, who, the one you believe you're independent from, you are also serving. And to celebrate your independence, you would also first have to celebrate somebody having authority over you. There's always this, I am independent, and there's you, and I'm trying to be independent of you, and I'm trying to, there's all, it's, it's so, it's so silly. So, the I that is asking the question in this case is a silly, silly, silly boy. And yes, that I would always want to habitually and habitually um, become addicted to things in the playground. Absolutely, the I, that silly boy, is always looking outside of itself for pleasure. So of course it's going to be addicted to this and to that. Of course it's going to be looking for marijuana over here and this thing over there. It, when you realize who you are, you can play marijuana as a plant. You can, if you want to smoke a little bit, you can smoke a little bit. But the moment you think to yourself, I'm doing this and I, I need to do this so that I can get over something or because I can overcome anxiety or I need to do this so I can... When you now I'm trying to become something. Who is the one that's trying to become something? In other words, you you are living as the ego. That will always end in misery. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. Give us a thumbs up, comment, thoughts, questions in the section below. Let us know what you want to hear from us. Subscribe to our channel for more life-changing content. And as always, check the section below for our website, for live events, where we'll be, what we're up to, more about us, and our online school website is listed below as well. We love you. We're glad you're here. We want to hear from you. We're in this with you.